Do you dream of adventure? Soaring through the skies.
when there's nothing holding you back, what would your thing be? Alright, just because Clev is here, we'll start. <sighs> what up, girl? Is there anybody else here? Oh, fuck, there's like four of you here. What the shit? Why are you guys here? It's so early. You guys have nothing better to do? It's just the stream. <laughs> Jesus. Nope, and because we hate you. Oh, that's fair. Uh, oh, you mean this this little thing? Oh, pff, don't even worry about it. Uh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, boys. I don't know. I just felt like doing that. I'm home from work, so I got some free time. That's the only accept. That's the only answer I'll accept. Um, today we're going to be um murdering more people, acting like we're not doing that, uh, just so we can figure out who turned us into a vampire. Um, so it should be a good time. I'm at work, so I have, so I have got some free time. It's Friday. I'm just saying. Um, I'm being very autistic today. I'm sorry. I don't know why. Uh, probably because I'm just excited. Because if you know, you know. If you don't know, I'm going to talk about it anyway. Like right now, once I send something to my Discord that I can show you guys. Okay, so if you know, you know. I like that plan, but uh, what are you going to do in the game? I don't have a fucking clue, honestly. <laughs> um, so if you don't know, um, currently looking to move. I already have a two-month notice on where I'm at right now, so regardless, I have to get out of here in two months. Whether I get this new place or not, uh, but speaking of a new place, me and Leechy are actively working towards a new place right now. Um, we filled out the applications yesterday, and we went and saw it yesterday. Uh, the landlord is very fucking cool. She's like mid-30s, I think. Uh, but a buddy of mine lives in this complex, and so he kind of got us the foot in the door and stuff, and she seems very cool and down with us, so things are looking good. Um, so we think that it should be fine. What is this actual display? It is, but I'm too big for it. Okay. So anyway, um, I drew up. I didn't draw it up. I used an app on my phone to make a crude layout of what it kind of looks like. Just to show you guys, for anybody who's interested, you guys probably aren't that interested because you're not going to be living there anyway. But, you know, streams will be get shot from this new place. So, I don't know. Maybe some people might be interested. Anyway, here's the juicy deets. So, this is very roughly what the apartment looks like. Damn, this is pretty nice. Sheesh. It's not perfect HD, but it's it's nice. It's close. Okay. So, basically, there's a stairwell right here. Kind of like a little 
thing and then the stairs go down and out the door that way uh so our apartment is up here <laughs> this is the front door uh you walk in it's kind of like big living room area with like a wall here this wall might be protruded out a little bit more i don't know this is fully off of memory i didn't take photos i've been in here before because ironically enough this is my friend's old unit that we're moving into he moved downstairs to a different unit same building just on the other side of the building it's like a six apartment building which is very nice uh yeah so then it goes it's kind of open it's connected all right here and this is the kitchen i didn't do anything special for the kitchen uh so this is like the kitchen area there is a storage uh, there's like counter space and an oven and then the sink and fridge and stuff over here. Um, and then there's like a closet here actually in this wall where the washer and dryer is. But this is like a storage, like a pantry I get. Or I guess this is more like the pantry. This is like a walk-in pantry storage thing. I should have put a door on there. And this is like a closet pantry. Kind of like what you would get in a bedroom. Like... Like one of those type of closets. One of those, but for more kitchen things. Probably like slow cookers and shit. I don't know. But anyway, so there's this living room area. Uh, then we have a balcony right here. And right over here is the smallest room. So it's like room three. This is where <laughs> I called it child room. Uh, this is where... Uh, Lychee's pets are gonna go so her chinchillas guinea pigs reptiles all those goodies they're all gonna be in here I'll probably do a house tour on stream once we get moved in and settled and shit uh, then going down the hallway growing up so fast I know right bitches love slow cookers dude slow cookers are so convenient and they're easy to clean up because it's one fucking thing uh, so going down the hallway, we have a bathroom, another walk-in storage that's like just as big as the pantry. There's a lot of storage in this fucking house, which is nuts. Um, so two walk-in storages so far and a small closet storage by the kitchen. Uh, there's another closet storage right here. A very small, like, square storage, like one I assume you would put, like, extra blankets and towels and shit there's probably shelves in there if you know what i'm talking about so just a little square thing i think this is just an empty space in the like house that probably could have been occupied for one of these rooms but i think it's literally just empty space i don't think this storage goes this far back if it does holy fuck that's awesome more fucking space i don't think we opened the door to this so i don't recall seeing inside, but that would be pretty fucking sick. So I just left it empty. I don't know. Anyway, continuing down the hall, there is yet another closet storage here. So all together, that's all the just household storage, which is stupid ridiculous. Uh, to the right is the master bedroom, and it has a walk-in closet. Uh... And then the left is where we'll be doing our new streams, which also has like a little closet as well, which I kind of wish it didn't. <laughs> but like every room in apartments and houses now all have closets for some reason. But yeah, so that's kind of how it's going to be. This is just too small to be a stream room. So I took the second biggest, obviously. So yeah, so this is where our new streams will be. Um, I haven't figured out how I'm going to lay it out. I already did ahead of time, but actually standing in the space, I was concerned that I might not be able to pull that off exactly. <laughs> so I have a couple ideas um, that I'm pretty sure I talked about a little bit with you guys. Uh, I wanted to do, obviously, like a TV interview kind of look and set up. So we can start off streams, kind of what we're doing now, but in like a kind of TV show looking thing. Like I have a couch, like a chair, and I could just be chilling there, just be casual. And we can just talk about random shit for like the first 20, 30 minutes of stream before we get things going. 
I can talk to you guys, hear about what's going on in your life. I can tell you stupid shit that's going on in my life. We could talk about any funny things on the internet. Just kind of shoot the shit for the first 30 minutes. And then I'll walk over to, you know, this. What we're doing now. Uh, so that's my thought. This is a pretty big fucking closet opening, surprisingly. Uh, I believe the door width was like 59 inches and not the closet itself but like just the door to the closet was like 59 inches and then there's like half a foot on both sides i think so i could fit a bigger desk than what i already am using in there so my thought process currently is probably going to be to put my desk in the closet uh with you know the chair here and then have my tv set up like over here that's kind of what I'm shooting for right now. But, I mean, I'll show you guys obviously when we get there. But, yeah, for anybody who's wondering, that's kind of currently what's going on. That's kind of what it looks like, and that's where we're at. Filled out the applications, waiting to hear back. You will be glad to also know uh, I got my background check report along with... Um, uh, doing the application, and I have no felonies. <laughs> so, something to think about. I don't take risks. We could go through my background report, too, though it has my credit score and shit on there. Not great, by the way. Leechies is so much better. But yeah, no cases. I'm not on any watch lists, which is always good. Um, I Apparently, there's no rent payment history, according to the government. And the government thinks I'm paying $339 a month for rent right now. Oh, no, never mind. That's I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, I don't know. Apparently, the government doesn't think I'm living anywhere and paying rent. Even though I've put on taxes for the last five years that I have been. Um, <laughs> no criminal cases found. No sexual offenders. Very important. Very important because we're just down the street from a school. Um, yeah. That's about it. No bankruptcies or liens, lines, linens. <laughs> so, yeah. That's kind of where we're at. Good shit. Alright. So, we got some more vampire games to play today. <sighs> uh, quick recap. Uh, we woke up some random guy as a vampire was hungry disoriented wandering around the streets some chick came up couldn't see who it was because we we're just so fucked up and phased and hungry and starving she was just a black figure and we fucking killed her by eating her fucking neck out uh it turns out it was our sister keeping it in the family um she dies we're like oh no but then the city of london or wherever the hell we are started shooting at us because we we're a freak uh so we had to leave the situation um finally wandered into a bar where we got some information about a doctor Talk to said doctor. He willing to help us find out who it is that turned me into a vampire so I can fucking kill him. Maybe fix myself. Uh, and now we're kind of working for him at a hospital because we used to be a doctor. Um, but it's kind of just a cover so we have somewhere to live and sleep during the daytime because we can't go out in the sun and it's kind of like we're undercover because people think oh he's not a vampire he's just a doctor that's kind of where we're at all right 
continuing on to the Edward Cullen case files. Ooh, damn, that was a lot. A rat in the hospital. <laughs> That's where we're at right now. I think we're looking for some girl. Oh, happy Friday, too. Hope everybody else got paid today like I did. Even though I technically got paid yesterday. Because my bank is boss. I thought last summer's epidemic was difficult. Alright. Um, the hospital benefactor. Oh, huh. easy enough. Oh, this bitch. I don't like this lady. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll That's my new landlord's again. name. <laughs> and my friend's wife's you. name. That's no way to talk. That got me the apartment. <laughs> good Recommendation. Up again soon enough. <laughs> no, he won't. He's gonna fucking die. I'll probably eat him. Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Oh wait, that's not the chick I don't like. Oh wait, yeah, it is. Never mind. No Good way. evening, Doctor Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. I hate when she just looks you at seem me. Surprised. Like that. Doctor Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent. Like she's not even looking at my Pembroke character, Hospital. she's looking at me and it's fucking me up. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night. Before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce so myself she's also a of this time. Empire. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well. In spite of the brevity of our encounter. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. Okay, now I don't think this is that lady. I think this is a different the lady. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. Doctor. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You Maybe. must have countless questions. But our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. Loisters. My cover Loisters. has been compromised. Hell yeah. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start Dr. Swansea. What's These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. Ooh. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer is greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Please Nothing like spicing up your life with a little bit of extortion. Essential. I'm your man. My Whoa. embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths mm. due to massive blood loss. Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? Ha ha ha. Excuse my impertinence, your ladyship. This is not an interrogation. Impertinence. I assure you that this line of questioning is in your best interest. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. I love that we're having this conversation. That dude's just like dying in agony in the background. With a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a Harriet pin drop here without Jones. her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. Harris My Harrington. Life, as others know, I know the violin is just going in right now. <laughs> I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion it's will kind be put of a to bit much. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions obligé. in regards of your condition. Condition? 
was talking about my autism. Is our little mystery no. to being solved? Fuck off! I wasn't. I think trying to talk else, to you, my lady. My situation is Fuck. delicate, and it occupies God damn it. all my thoughts. The blackmail must stop. I need assurance. Assurance or insurance? If you want insurance, call progressive. I need to fucking like eat somebody here. Can I eat like any of you? No. <laughs> Lame. All right. Well. Let's go talk to this asshole. What up, dude? Can I eat you? Yeah. Maybe if I talk, I'll be able to eat him. Can oh God, you look like shit, to fix dude. My face. No, Jesus. I don't think you can help me. I'm Doctor Reed. What the I've fuck are you? The position of head surgeon here. War injuries. Am I right? Uh, you guess like right, a European doctor. Formula One German driver today. Oh me. <laughs> right off. But they uh, still call me Thomas Alwood. That's fair. Is it because of the turtleneck? The best time to wear a striped sweater. Goodbye for now, Mr. Alwood. Oh. Go with the collar. Goodbye. Turtleneck. Fucking god damn it. Let me eat you, you son of a bitch. Good evening, Mr. Alwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. I will eat this motherfucker. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. No, you didn't. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. I bitch. Have you heard rumors of underhand dealings in the hospital? If you want to know what's going on here, you better talk to Miss Jones. She knows everything, especially what she should. Can I eat you? I can mesmerize him. I'm going to eat your fucking soul. Turn around and bend over this bed. We're being watched. So many deaths. Not now, I'll come back. And what of my own life? Can you leave? They're in disgust on every street Son corner. Of a bitch. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. I thought that voice was in the game. No, no, no. Soldier, do you need assistance? I'm fine. Just do something for this pain, will ya? That's all I'm asking. Dude, I could do that. I could, I could fucking eat you, bro. If the game would let me, I could do that. Here. All right, now that I possessed him, let's go somewhere private. Don't look at me, bitch. <laughs> it's all about the good times that we have together. <laughs> Two birds of a feather. Let me get you to this staircase. Uh, God damn it. I can't eat him. 
Why can't? Why won't you let me eat you, bro? I'm over it. Okay. It probably tastes like shit anyway. <sighs> okay. Um. Whee. Simpletons, these nurses, bred with no respect. Oh, this girl what? sounds like a bitch. What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm your surgeon. fucking god. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Dead. If you continue shouting, I'll have you restrained and gagged. Understood. <laughs> How brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. Oh, fuck I'm you, Harriet, Harriet Jones. Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. I'll bag you, know you until you get sagging. Better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some Sappho. despicable goings on. Sat Mo. Is there a case of blackmail? Black Is that mail. blood on the mirror? Oh, Wait. No. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. No shit. One of those incompetent cunts living for sod's fame. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's... Whores, oh, so all of them, they can't keep their legs shut. <laughs> yeah, this oh, bitch is going on. Scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time. Whoa. Mr. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. A fucking killer. I can't do shit in this game. Fuck. Uh, I the find... patients and staff might know something. Yeah. I'll start my investigation with them. Fuck it, who? Oh, probably upstairs. Yeah? No? It's locked. Where is everybody? Hello. Oh, here we go. Who are you? Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. Pippa and I'm Dr. Hawkins. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. All right. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. I did. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. It sounds like you're the one meeting uh, some dude. No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. Fair. What can you tell me I about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? I thought I would have Let me guess. checked it off. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. 
She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. God damn. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? It's definitely this chick. There's no way it's not. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. That girl is too defensive for it not to be. Any other nurses in this bitch? Oh man, love this game? Good. Oh, I've never played, nor do I know shit about it. Right now, I'm somewhat indifferent. Are you a fucking nurse? Who are you? Good evening, madam. No. Nope. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Well, fuck yourself. How can I help you? I'm not looking for I'm your Beatrice son. I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Could Didn't you ask him, please, Dr. Reed? No. I've heard much of your talents as a physician. <sighs> Goodbye, Mr. Goodbye. Goswick. <laughs> fucking checking on yourself, lady. Um, all right. I'm a vampire bitch. I don't need to do work. I'm not getting paid. Uh, let's see if we can zoom around back to the entrance here. Maybe they're outside. You. I doubt this is a nurse. Yeah, they're all girl names. There can be male nurses, but I doubt there were that many back in uh, this time period. Nothing but bodies. Ooh, a crumpled letter. Thanks for the free shit. Thanks for the free shit. Oh, fucking nurse is that? Ah, uh, yeah. What up? Yeah, you thought. Nah, I'm Mr. Blonde or Mr. White. I'm rocking your worldview, baby. In circumstances, I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. I don't care about you. Where the fuck are these nurses? Alright, let me fucking like go upstairs, I guess. Uh, wherever that is. Stairs, stairs. Yes, here we go. Pretty sure that's the lady we already talked to. Fucking machete? A hacksaw? That's a big ass hacksaw. Holy fuck. I'm just gonna steal some shit. I'm sure they're not gonna know what's going on. Someone just shit themselves? Uh, this looks like my office, not where I want to go. much does it cost? Can't be that much if you do it off that thing. Um, it's really not that expensive. It's like 15 bucks. Maybe. It's pretty cheap. The pain. It's there again. Look, I offered to fucking eat you. You were... Oh, yes. Come here, bitch. Good evening, nurse. Oh, I'm you Dr. are Jonathan Reed, old. I'm surgeon here at the Pembroke. Not Dr. Swansea good looking. has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? God, I hate this lady's face. It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea, Ooh. make sure of it. I see. 
Well, I'm a little surprised. If you guys heard about it, why won't anybody let me do it? to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. I'm the future, baby. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Yeah, I don't think any man is coming Goodbye, to fucking nurse. diddle your goodies. You so you're probably dried up and not very useful in that field. Um, I think it's that one chick who is defensive as fuck. Alright, so there's one more somewhere. Are you fucking over here? Where are you? Why are you playing games, baby? Are you like down on the dock? Where should I be on the fucking dock? God damn it. Dorothy. Dorothy's ass gonna be dead. Oh, they are. Don't worry, we're safe. Oh, it's Dorothy. Oh, it's that bitch I don't like. How do I like... Will you shut the fuck up? Uh, how do I... Opium? <laughs> fuck yes. <laughs> Score! How in the tits am I going to get here? I know, I'll go around. They'll never expect it. Stop right now! Crush the lead, boys! Ah! Filthy piece of shit! How the fuck do I get down here? Don't worry, we're safe. Sorry. Don't worry, we're safe. Shut the fuck up, quit saying that. I kill you, goddammit.
called you a thief and a piece of shit? Oh, well, fuck that guy. He's dead now, so. <laughs> yeah, what he deserved. Attacking a doctor is a big deal? Nah. I don't know how the fuck I was supposed to get down here. <laughs> You got me fucked up. What is going on? I cannot enter. Fuck you. I don't have time for you. I gotta figure out how to get to Dorothy. Dorothy, you fucking psycho. We get across. Yes, bitch. What the fuck is up? For a living, I thought people still think of doctors as angels of the community. Not in this. What the fuck? I'm back for it. God damn it. Dorothy, you son of a bitch. This is actual bullshit. What the fuck? I found her. I don't know how to get to her. What the fuck? God, I'm so tired of him saying that shit. Evolve. 
here. Hard biting. How the hell are we gonna get the Dorothy? Dorothy, you dumb cunt. Get your ass over here. Can I, like, move that other boat? Is that a thing people do? Apparently not. Dude, obviously I'm missing something, but like, fucking what though? They don't fucking talk about anything. He says the same one fucking line every single time. I can't go in here at all. Am I actually gonna have to look this shit up? Fucking on God. I gotta look this shit up. How do I get to this fucking woman?
Oh, what the fuck is that shit? Okay. Have to do some senses thing. What's that do? This isn't even my neighborhood. Relax. You're sure you don't come back with me? I don't know, no. weird. Oh, I figured it out then. The Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. There's a man in the shadows. Fuck him. I don't like hospitals. All doctors. Same. Well then. Actually, I don't mind hospitals. When you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. Uh, oh, a dentist. A pass though. for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. <laughs> Oh, this guy's gonna get shanked. He's gonna get a good old London clockwork orange shakedown. Oh, never mind. There wasn't a door there, and now there is. How'd you manage that? I feel like I'm about to go fuck this dude up. Oh shit. Hmm. Is some shit going on? Revive the thug in the sewers? <laughs> Oh, retrieve. They said revive. I was like, what? Oh, there's some shit going on here. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. True. Give me the rat. This is despicable. Is this him? Uh, I can find Harry Potter and beat the shit out of him. True. If I see him, I'll let you know. No worries. Enjoy your... Your boring stuff. Oh fuck! Hello, boss. What battle. sort of creature is this? What the tits are you? It's a werebear. Well, I just wasted. Oops! Don't know what I did, but it's not the play. It, boy. Here's what's left of him. Not a lot to check, but I should anyway. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. Nice. What is Nurse Crane up to? Free shit, I really baby. must find her. Reach the White Chapel. Like the band? Tell your friends. Yeah. 
There's a new rat in town. A citizen to save. Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed. The door is open, bro. You, Leave. You must calm down first. Please. <laughs> Literally Take just a walk out. And tell me your name. Okay. Okay. I, I, I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please. I need to get out. All right. Mr. I Thatcher, heard you're that safe already. Now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. London has no you chill. Feel better if you do. Goodbye, Samwise. Oh. If I could kill you, I would, but apparently I can't. So. I'll let you do your fucking thing. Please get the fuck out of the way. I'm gonna take this. See ya. Good shit. Seen any like crossing? Where is this infamous white chapel? White Chapel Street. Oh, this must be the way. It's gotta be. I could go in this. The chapel. Holy 10 FPS. Yeah. 
Whitechapel. Whitechapel. This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, there is let's find this Petrescu fellow. Petrescu. Well, he didn't stop. I won't end up another drunk ass off littering the streets. Not me. You'll probably end up dead because now I feel like I gotta kill you. Wait, did you get shot or not? I don't know, you guys seem like you worked out, I guess. I'll not die in some day. It's all like this thing. Fucking language on these boys. Is that a car alarm? I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. <laughs> Don't bother someone else, Mr. Okay. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. So, peeping Tom? He's about to get his fuck on with the ugly crow. Strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just a friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidacott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? <laughs> Maybe. Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. Downwind. Gross. I ain't in all that freaky shit. It's l I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They <sighs> must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. Okay. Whee! Seems like a good no, day to please. die. I don't have your money. Come on, Barrett. You know the game. You pay for peace of mind. This looks like a church. You are blinded by your false faith, imprisoned by your daily routine. Unable to see the true horror around. How do I get in this bitch? Breaking and entering, baby. The old classic way. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would <laughs> like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. 
Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard, hey, you're Nivercock, Richard. At your service. A poet, huh? May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll it be glad to help you if I can. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. I'll leave you alone, sir. Clayton Darby is next. Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Look at the Father beak Tobias on that upper lip. He's always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. Hi, <laughs> right, you know what? I actually fucked you. I have heard enough for tonight. I don't think you have anything Bye. interesting to say, so. But Clayton is this guy that's knocking on the door. Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby. Yeah. Sorry, I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. Weed. What drugs. Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? I'm trying to get some. I'm a doctor, Mr. Darby. I care about everything involving public health and this epidemic. Are you sure you're not just concerned about the repercussions that a scandal involving a certain <laughs> nurse crane from the Pembroke Hospital would bring? Without a doubt, How you, did you are know? a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? Darius. I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. <laughs> Rip. He never goes out? No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. I mean, maybe he just decided. Evening, Doctor. Oh, shit, Can I help you? Maybe he just decided Goodbye, he didn't want to send it anymore. Farewell. This is like some real detective work shit. I gotta go find some ripped up letter in a mailbox. This could have been at any point in time, man. How the fuck am I supposed to find a mailbox and there's some ripped up letter? What does a mailbox even look like back in these days?
see. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Okay. Now we're gonna blackmail him. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's literally called blackmail in white chat. In. Mr. Petrescu, it's me just again. One minute, please, you again, go away. I have something, sir. Wait, stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right, speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see Dorothea. Don't make me regret this. Though. That was it? Is that easy? Why don't I just start off with that? What the fuck? <laughs> Dorothy, yo, bitch, where you at? I know your ass around here somewhere. Yo, yo, it's me what again. What do we have here, nurse? Patient Razvan Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Aspirin and salicin, you say? Why not some warm milk and a kiss on the cheek? Where are the quinine salts? Tried buying, borrowing, even stealing. There's none to be found, doctor. He's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Skull, hand me that skull. What can I do, Doctor? I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. Jesus Christ, this shit is going real. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Don't question me, nurse. I need a drain. Now. Yes, doctor. He's gonna die regardless, so you know, I might as well do what we can. Oh, god damn. He's still bleeding, Doctor. I'm losing his pulse. How do you know? You're not even touching his neck. Artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I can't see. First, suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of that the man's blood. That struggling. Fred, doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, doctor. Cardiac massage, now. Cardiac, what? Are you making this up as you go along? Yes. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some. 
<laughs> We've lost the pulse. <laughs> Next. He, he's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Probably not, honestly. Is this how the war went? Piling up one poor corpse beside the next? Basically. This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. The entire Neither continent? I, but the previous symptoms leading up to this attack know were the serious. same. Indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something primitive. primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. I yes, get but... to push the promo. I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. What is going on right now? What the fuck? Did you just take a... Oh, he took a sample. Okay. Did you just take a sample of his fucking blood? Jesus Christ. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Uh, it's illegal. The risks you've taken for your friends in Whitechapel are criminal, and you can pay dearly for them. Doctor, you think your warnings <laughs> scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? I never like you anyway, Nurse bitch. Crane, Time to there die. There is no question that the work you've done here is extraordinary, but this dispensary is incapable of coping with the outbreak. It's only a question of days before the situation at hand will overwhelm us. I cannot allow it. It's my duty to put an end to this immediately. Got her ass. I'm not ashamed. I did what was right. For in the end, I saved lives and you took them. But we had so much in common, Doctor. Don't you see that? No, I don't. Um, oh, I'm a, she had some crazy blood, bro. I'm like tripping balls right now. Oh, shit, whoops. Oh, well. Fuck. What the fuck is going on right now? This one stinks already. On my shit. She looks like a mistress. Um, in the dark of the night, people will find her. <laughs> uh, Anastasia, anybody? Mm -hmm. 
human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Oh yeah. Kill it, boy! <laughs> Get some fucking rest in this bitch. Dude, I have a lot of fucking shit actually. I like tits. Spidey senses. Venom. Fuck are you?
Oh. Oh, hello. I knew that guy was gonna die. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. <laughs> okay. Speak did up, you Dr. Just Reed. I guess I, like I did too, but... His mind. <sighs> what prevails in the end, I wonder? The desire for blood, or to be of service to man? Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward, nonetheless. I'd say. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed. Permanently. You will not be bothered anymore by the woman. I and killed that bitch. If you must know, she worked under my employ as Nurse Crane. But I'll wager that's not what will be written on her gravestone. Hmm. You killed her? Is that what you consider discretion and diplomacy, Dr. Reed? Hell I did what yeah. I thought was best. And I was sick of that lady. You will learn that trust is a rare and precious commodity in the immortal world, my young doctor. And your <sighs> actions have not induced me to offer you my support. <sighs> Whatever. See I bid you farewell. For now, my lady. I kill you next. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Fair enough. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? Probably not. I should not. talk to Dr. Swansea about it. That's a long stretch. All right. Chapter 3, Family History. Causes and song effects. Yo, Patrick Swayze, I got some fucking news. Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. Okay. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? I never saw symptoms like this when I was in France. Not at all. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? <laughs> Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, Probably like not. Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's smashing, a lot baby. Here, but it is spreading, and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. Hmm. 
And why not? What did Stoker say about the children of the night? Well, using my blood, I could create a whole army of vampires. Surely you're joking. <laughs> we'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. The music I is so distracting from the actual music. conversation. It, like, yes. doesn't fit at all. I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? Isn't she dead? She's to be buried oh, this okay. evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry. My mom is still alive? God damn. Please How accept my she? condolences. I was in the tomb. Okay. So now I gotta go to my sister's funeral. Tits. Fuck, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, fuck. Okay, well. Uh, it's resetting. Or it did reset. But. I'll have to. I'll have to put all the shit back the way it was but anyway uh we're gonna wrap it up there for today because i'm getting a wee bit tired <laughs> like i sleep oh baby uh, um i think duran is still alive yeah so i'm gonna go watch him play a little bit more control get a little more feel of uh what's going on in that game I hope everybody has a great Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Um, tomorrow's Saturday. Which means it's probably going to be Pokemon. Try to get a little bit further. I'll look into it. I haven't done so yet, but I will look into it and try to get a little bit further than that tomorrow. So I will just see you guys all tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye!